And then we're caught up with <coughs> Venita in the laundry. And they go across the French line okay. No troubles, a bit boring. Lots of wallopers and corrugations and overcrowded with traffic going west or east. So we're going to have another lay day in um, Birdsville and wash the sheets and relax and walk around at historic sites. And there's the Hanamala fella linking over to the first aid centre. And this is just next to the um, cooling towers of the water supply for the town. Goes up there and cools down after emerging from a fair way down on the ground. A lot of wasted water. Booyah. Uh, it goes down from 1,292 metres. Comes up 98 degrees. Door. That's the Anzac Memorial. First World War, of course. And here's the old First Hill Hotel. I think we've been everywhere on there except to camp for 19 also gold I just get smoke and fever. There's the weather in Sydney, storms. Oh, political storms. There's a green elf up there. A green elf. Across the Pine Early Beach, came across to Long Reach, past Long Reach, and across country to near the border to Birdsville, right through here. And then they're going across the top of the corner, over Big Red, and across to um, Fink. Across to Fink. There's Fink. There's Fink. Lambert Centre. And then he said they're going to Fremantle. He they're said going, oh, they're going over there. They're going way. to Fremantle somewhere. Well, they're and going this Fremantle's way. down the bottom. Yeah, so they'll do the Great Central way. Highway. He said, yeah. oh, they're going off road. They're not doing any highways. <laughs> so they're heading down there. And, and we're out at um, Birdsville. That's Broken Hill. <laughs> And we're going 
produce sea takeoff. <laughs> Election time up there. There's an aerial view of the campsite. Our neighbours have gone from here. And there's the lagoon down there where we were last time. And there's Kim and Vanilla over behind there. There's two guys at the bar in the pub. And I was going to loan them my... Um, there's one of them there now. My bottle top camera mount, and then I said, "Oh, well, if you got only an iPhone, I'll take the photo of them both at the bar." And then we got chatting afterwards, and they'd come from Early Beach. There's all a paid up front trip, and all the bikes are supplied, all the food, and the whole lot. And they come out and going across to Fremantle. And one of the guys, he was a, a 737 pilot from northern Kenya. Uh, there's plenty of money there. And there's one of them there now. They're all setting up, setting up their swags. And they're going over to Big Red and across to the Fink next few days. All the caravans are coming in now. They're V8 Land Cruisers and jeeps and four-wheel track masters that's a that's a support vehicle for the um the bikes they got to set up their swags all oh, this was chockers and full up with people on the Burnsville races day we were camp it was all full here when we were right um after a day or so when we arrived. Yeah, yeah, we just went straight down the, yeah, the edge with on Tuesday. Ken and June found the spot down near the trees there. This is where we camped in September 2003. Now it's all green grass, it was all bare dirt before. And the guy with the bagpipes came around and woke people up and over here there's the photo of the tree I took with a shag on it I'll try and come down tomorrow morning in the sunlight yeah. because that guy who went for a swim had to sort of get climbed down also much Let's bring in the washing before we go to the pub. Oh, there you go all the bikies going across to Airlie Beach all the way across to um, going across the French line. One guy dark guy who was a 737 pilot from Kenya. Well, we tip out the, the water we got from Broken Hill that we've carried for several, four or five thousand kilometres up to Mount Deer and back, 1200k, and put it in the trailer. It's not as good as the Birdsville water. Everybody's heading off with their broken trailers and slashed tyres on the Batuta Developmental Road. There's big floods in Tasmania, the worst floods in a hundred years around Launceston and Jackie Lambie's been touring the, the damaged areas and Deloraine and Launceston's going to get flooded at 10 o'clock this morning with a slow tide and these people bought their van in 2009. 
They've been here since January. They're managing the office and he's running around doing paving and emptying bins and cleaning loos and doing lots of busy work. What are you up to? I'm just securing a heat shield against the airbag from the heat of the uh, exhaust pipe near the muffler. Right. But I need a bigger um, zip clip. What are they called? I don't know. Ziplock bag? Ziplocks. Well, don't you need a cable tie? Cable tie, yeah. Got one? Well, I've got three. But Where are well, they? Well, here. Oh. They're a bit short, I think. Join them together. Yeah. This is the running repairs in the caravan park, which is much fuller today than it was the other day. at us or it goes beep. shady spot in a rough gravelled spot and we looked up the geo wiki and it had a site 
3.1k away. And here we are at the top of Couple of creepers on it, spot dogs and loos. The rest area. The rest area on top of the hill. Yeah, what do you think? Well, it's like the Tip Ilia Creek one. You've got to drain it up on the high ground. Yeah, we've got a bin. A bin and all. And tables, and toilets. Fasten seat belts. Oh, and it's down. Seven days. Yeah. Now we've managed to put the table and chairs on the south side so it gets the shade in winter. Brochure no, and Diamantina. Mm -hmm. I think it could be a rainbow serpent. In a water hole, probably. And there's a wheelie bin outside <coughs> in front. around the hill. There's another waterfall. That's, that's his water hole up there. Well it's two water holes. He's protecting another water hole down in his head. And there's a real water hole in the creek. Mm. Lovely little creek. Insulators, and there's your fuel. It got bypassed, sadly. Or old Batuta. Oh, there's a 
own box. Oh, and that did say. Well, we've carefully manoeuvred into a spot inside a billabong on Browns Creek. No, the birds are twittering. And if it, if it doesn't rain, we'll be apples. And if the wind stops, it'll be fantastic. Came in across a couple of ruts. Swallows and budgery guys. You hear the beat the flyers buzzing in my ears. Into the CMCA app on the iPhone, we're 12 k west of Dion's lookout in this lovely little Browns Creek. We popped into Petuta, 7k into a deserted pub which you just saw. Probably have to just wiggle it a bit. We should be selling They all seem to want to crash land into the um, white bowl. I don't like the salad, the swimming. salad dressing. It kills them at the waters. That's dinner. <laughs> well, that was one wild night. The wind came up, blew the kitchen lid over back on itself. In the middle of the night, had to get up and wrap it all down in the storm damage like we did at the Devil's Marbles. Peg down all the, the flaps and lie down the poles and peg down the corners with longer pegs. And then I go back to bed and it flapped and flapped. I've woken up again by more flapping and Mary saying what's happened now. And the zip on the corner had unzipped and it was flapping the window so I had to tie down the, the window because the zip kept flying up there and the flap flapping out. So I put more long pegs in and tie the zip down and Mary didn't get much sleep. And it rained and we wondered whether the tide would come up so we should pack up the boxes packed just in case we had to make an escape. But it only sprinkled for a while. Couldn't see any stars. But now we've got patches of blue just outside of Batuta and the abandoned Batuta pub. There's a little nest up in the What's this bush called? A xenophyte thing -o. Mistletoe, it's a different mistletoe that's all flowering. All these buds. 
and the acacia here. It's mistletoes on the acacia. And there's a pigeon just perching up there, facing into the wind. All the budgies are out. I think there's probably a couple of hollows up here. Straight above me, so I might have to move underneath them. Dust on the dust on that stump. The lovebirds. One. Coming out of our campsite from last night, just as well we didn't have to do it in an emergency in the rain. Over the egg pipe, we said. Oh. Out on that track. Nice campsite down by the river too. Look good. Bit of trouble with a low flying tree. And then up onto the road and up onto the main road goes along the hill and the bitumen is just over there. Now that was our alternative campsite where Neil and Pauline camped, oh, or whether they, whether they got up there and camped, it's another matter. It would have been blowing a gale up there. There's probably a, I think there's probably the loneliest blue. Arrived up here at Dion's lookout, and it's going to rain on us. Be the loneliest and the highest and most exposed loo long drop I've seen in my life. They even have druggies out here and uh, it's been blowing a gale and it's blowing a gale now and a lot of the tourists just go straight past, miss the scenery and the loo with a view. Up in the shelter of the loo is the best spot for making videos out of the wind. Somewhere over there in the distance there's a truck at B double. Ah. It's blowing a gale up here. 
And the Seal Road, we've done 19k since our camp. The Seal Road. That a mail service. The remote stations of Batuta and Birdsville. And Batuta is mentioned in my uh, offbeat Australia. There's a Polish guy, I think he was, he ran the pub, but he didn't like customers, so he watched the sunsets. It's a memorial to Dion Brook, erected by the residents of Diamantina Shire. He was killed in nine, uh, that 19k southwest of here in a helicopter accident. We might be lucky and drive into some pleasant sunshine. It's windy and 19 degrees, but it feels like 16. Looks like they face it in the correct direction. Most of the wind comes from the south and the southwest. I have to get my compass. I think the south is straight behind the loo. Windy out there. I'm just trying to trying to comb our hair. I need my tablets. Get our tablets sorted out. Oh, what do you mean? Why do you say anything? Why do you say? Diamond Tina Shire has got a bit more money than Baku. Disregard that comment about sorting our tablets in the previous shot. Oh, you could do 90 in the Baku roads, nice and smooth, straight as an arrow. And we've just done a couple of very straight stretches with no floodways. 180 to Windora. That'll be after lunch. signs about shelter. Now we've got a narrow road for a little while. No shelter signs often means no shelter. follows that arrow which we saw once before years ago and it's up in the hill there with our new zoom
survey it for the, the township of Canterbury. We camped here in two thousand eight years ago. And now the old car is blown away in the wind. Bits of it over bits of it over there. Bits of it over there. And the bonnet side of the engine cowling that we sat in took photographs of each other over there. See flicker. It's all overcast and desolate. And not much remains. So in eight years the place can change quite a bit. Yeah, we're in Waveney Street, Canterbury. Forward ho. Coming into Windora, four o'clock. They had a nice information centre here last time. Uh, I had show Graham this um, fireplace. Yeah. Well, I'm looking for the Desperate. He's desperate to please. Yeah. 